guys! Since we're all in Circuit Breaker, I thought of doing an everyday makeup tutorial. This is the look that I do usually when I go for castings or when I run errands. And yeah, if you'd like to see, then keep on watching. So first, I usually moisturize, and this is my moisturizer. This is the Renewed Hope in a Jar from Philosophy, and my little sister is joining us. Hello! <laughs> So make sure to subscribe and also subscribe to my channel. Don't get anywhere in this video now and bye! Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye, bye. The next step I do is sunscreen. And let me tell you guys, sunscreen is a must, especially if you're living in a very hot country like Singapore. Sunscreen is your baby and I cannot go out without not putting on sunscreen. So I feel like four dots on the face and you just rub it in. I'm kind of sweating because I took way too long on freaking filming an intro because I don't know how to make an intro and it looks weird. So, oh don't forget the neck too. After I'm done with sunscreen, I use a foundation as my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Rose Foundation in the shade 228. So I take like a dot of a blob and I put it on my under eyes and on the areas where I need concealing. So I have a scar here and the rest I just put it like everywhere. And I just use my hands to blend everything. I use lip balm because my lips are super dry. So I use the Himalaya Himalaya lip balm. After foundation, I usually set the parts where I put the concealer on. And I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This one is like in a cute mini size. And also I use like a concealer brush to set it. So it's like a flat brush. So after putting powder under my eyes and everywhere where I put the concealer on, I use a bronzer. So this is the Hula Benefit bronzer. And mine looks very ratchet. Like, that's how ratchet it looks. So I do put this on my cheekbones and the leftover on my nose. To contour my nose. And I just use the brush that comes with oh, then do my eyebrows, face shop. I just fill in any holes that I have like right there and I just guard my eyebrow from plucking it. And a trick that I've been, that I recently just found out, actually thanks to my cousin, I use my hair wax. I use the big head from the bed head. Oh, it's bed head, not big head. I just put my eyebrow brush on there and I brush my brows upwards. And my brows are very stubborn, they don't stay. So I do tend to take my time doing this. So if I try to touch it more, I just wouldn't like it. So I think I'm done with that. And I definitely will fill up some of the gaps that I have over there. For my eyes, I use my bronzer as my eyeshadow and focus it more on the crease just to give my eyes a little bit of a definition. So I use with this brush and going back with my ratchet as bronzer and tap it off. done if you can see there is a bit more definition on my eyes there's more color to it so that's what I really like about putting bronzer on my whole eyelid and focusing on the crease as well so next I am going to be doing eyeliner so I'm using an angled brush and I've been using like a black eyeshadow this one this is in the brand I have no idea Crayola. Got this from someone. <laughs> and it's in the shade Smoky Beige. 
So I use the black one and I do like a very subtle wing and I blend it out. So I'm just gonna show you guys. And I usually just clean up with my fingers. I then curl my lashes with an eyelash curler, of course. So I use just like a regular eyelash curler. I got this from Innisfree. I have very straight lashes, so I curl them to death. I have like different ways to curl them. I'm gonna show you. So first, I like I, I don't know how to explain it, but just I'll just show you guys. I cannot, for the love of God, explain how to curl my lashes. Like if this side is curled, the ending is not curled. So I have to go back ten thousand times. I'm gonna put on mascara. I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is what I use. And there's two sides to this mascara, which is pretty cool. So there's like this side and there's a thicker side. First, you use the curved side and I wiggle it. So wiggle it and go up. Wiggle down and go up. Wiggle up. Oh, and then I use the thicker side and I brush my lashes and try to separate it. And then my favorite part is a little trick also I found out from my cousin. Thank you, cousin. I use um, a lipstick. This one is the Sunny's Face uh, Girl Crush in the shade Girl Crush. And Funny story, I left this in the pocket of my shorts. I got this in the Philippines and they don't sell it here in Singapore, but I left this in the pocket of my shorts and my mom washed it in the washing machine. So now it's kind of ruined. Some on my lips first. And then I put two swabs on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. And I blend it out using my fingers again. So I drew it on my nose and drank it out so I'll look like I have like a sun-kissed glow and I just went out to the beach when I'm just, you know, isolating at home. Just wish that this isolation or this quarantine or circuit breaker or whatever will be over soon because I am very bored and I definitely miss a lot of people. So, and I want to travel again. I'm so sad because I was supposed to go to Bali this June, but obviously that's cancelled. That's okay. Next time, I guess. And funny story, every time I try to go to Bali, it always gets cancelled. Like last year, I tried to go to Bali, cancelled. This year, cancelled. Like Bali, it's giving me a curse right here. So last step is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. This one is the purple, and I just spray five times. I didn't count. Okay, let's let that sink in. And we're done. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for my everyday makeup routine, tutorial, whatever this is. And I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed filming it and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!